Some rich cargo here, sir. next time. Ready to spit, sir! To starboard! Survivor cast to drift here, Captain! What's our course, Captain? Principe, Quartermaster. We're sailing for the coast of Africa. Stop! 
Ready to fire! Fire! Awaiting orders! Roberts. Don't stay long. Crew's getting restless out there. Captain, fancy the swim. Captain Kenway. Yet another dire situation, Roberts. We really must stop meeting like this. Stop tailing me and your wish had come true. There's no need for this. You know I'm as good as my word. Our Captain Howell was killed today in a Portuguese ambush. Ed strong fool. I warned him not to go ashore. It was orchestrated by the Templars Burgess and Cochrane. The same sort that took you to Havana. Ah. I see now there is no escaping the Templar's attention, is there? I suppose it is time to fight back. I do like the sound of that. And I know just how I'll do it. But these men, Burgess and Cockrum, they cannot be allowed to leave with word of my escape. They won't. Count on it. If you spot any men from my crew, do them some kindness and send them here. I'll do all I can. Ah! 
Carry maggots. We're not waiting on no one. Put some muscle in that bustle, or we're leaving you behind. Done us good, Kenway. Proved yourself a true bravo. And for what? His own bloody pride. You stepped in the path of my prize. Not a thing a man should do. <laughs> a cocksure, Cully. Just like Harlick all said. That Templar scab means nothing to me. None of you do. And you're worse for it, Kenway. It were the tempers who took us in when all else went to shit. Not our king. Not our country. The Templars. The Templars is our family. Where's yours? <clears throat> In honest service, there are thin cons. No wages. Yet, as gentlemen of fortune, we enjoy plenty and satisfaction, pleasure and ease, liberty and power. So what man with a sensible mind would choose the former life when the only hazard we pirates run is a sour look from those without strength or splendor? <laughs> now, I have been among you six weeks. And in that time, I have adopted your outlook as my own. And with so fierce a conviction, that it may frighten you to see your passions reflected from me in so stark a light. But, if it's a captain you see in me now, by then, I'll be already captain. Yeah! For I have dipped my hands in muddied waters, and, withdrawing them, find it better to be a commander than a common man! Oh. You fought him with your assistance. I'm looking for the observatory. Folks say you're the only man that can find it. Folks are correct. Despite my distaste for your eagerness, I see in you a touch of untested genius. I'm Bartholomew Roberts. Edward. I have no secrets to share with you now. But if you'll lend me your aid, in two months' time, west of the Leeward Islands, well, it's there you'll get some answers, I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> 